welcome back to part two of Easy Text Effects and After Effects with Art by Ashley. We're going to continue the composition we were working on before, and now we're going to work with the word more. So starting with the text layer more, we're going to use the transform tools position and rotation. We're going to slide the word over and up, and then flip it upside down. After that, we're going to add more keyframes and continue moving the word over and down and flipping it as we go. What we're trying to do is make it look like it is rolling into the screen. So again, I'm not using specific numbers for this, just basing it off how it looks on my artboard and making sure to move the indicator forward each time that I want to create a new keyframe after moving the word. A certain way. You notice we also have our dotted line once again since we're using the position tool and we're moving the rotation tool with it so we can move both. If we play it back it kind of rolls into frame. Our next word layer is the word U. For this one I want to change the scale and the opacity so clicking on those stopwatches we create our first keyframes and we're going to slide the indicator forward Go ahead and create our second keyframes before we adjust the numbers. Now, sliding back to the first keyframes, we're going to adjust the numbers to make the word big, and then moving forward to the second keyframes that we created, we're going to make the word small, and we're going to change the opacity to zero. This is going to create the effect that the word is large in the beginning of the layer, and then it quickly disappears. So playing it back, we see it slowly fade away. Moving on to our next word layer, the word use, we're going to use the transform setting anchor point. Now this is similar to the position setting. We will use the numbers and slowly move our indicator to create keyframes. And this will create a sense that the word is moving around this dot. curly cube. For the word the, I wish to use the animator tool again, so we're going to use the animator and skew. Coming down here, clicking skew and skew axis, we're going to affect the numbers beside these two settings and create keyframes within our layer. Starting off with the first keyframes, not changing the numbers, we'll move to the second keyframes and adjust the numbers so it stretches the word out and gets it to lay down. Skew affects the angle of the word, so by moving the numbers like so, we are making it look like it's laying down, and to ease this effect a little bit, we're going to also bring the opacity down. So we'll start off with 100% opacity, and with our second keyframes, we will make it 0% opacity. When we play it back, we see the word just kind of falls away out of the frame. Our next layer is another more, so this time we're going to go back into the animate settings like we did on the previous layer, but this time we're going to mess with the tracking of the word. Clicking on the stopwatches for the tracking settings, we're going to move over and start tinkering with our keyframes. If we move the indicator forward some, we can come back to the number and increase the tracking so it makes the letters move apart from each other. And then if we go and make another keyframe and move letters back into each other, this will create a nice sliding effect for the individual letters of the word. Playing it back, we see it slide in and out. For this next layer, since this is also our second U, I want to do a little different and we're going to click on the pen tool in the tools panel at the top and we're going to draw a line. You might recognize these lines with the anchor points and you might recognize the pen tool from other programs. We are going to make the word U follow this line. So by, by creating this line across the artboard and opening up our text settings, not our transform settings, but our text settings in the layer panel, we can open up the path options and where it says path you, and none, you will go over and click on none and click mask one. 
This will snap your word to the mask line that you just created and then coming down to where it says first margin, we will click on that stopwatch and adjust the numbers so the word is off of our frame. After that, we will move the indicator forward a bit and go back to our first margin and move the numbers so our word comes into the frame about midway creating another anchor point and then we will move the indicator again but not changing the numbers that way we have two keyframes with the same number sequence and then we're going to move the indicator again we'll move the numbers this time and have it to where the word comes off of the frame the reason for the middle section is it stills the word in the middle of the frame for a moment so the viewer can read the word as it passes by now playing it back you can see what i mean by that and so that's how you make a word walk on a path for the word have we are going to play with the tracking again so going back to animate and tracking we're going to come down here and click on the tracking stopwatches and increase our number so our letters come apart from each other and then coming down to scale we're going to click on scale and increase it, divide from each other and increase in size, moving our indicator forward. And then coming over to our timeline, we are actually going to select the keyframes this time and not the indicator. We can do that by clicking on them and they turn blue. Then we're going to drag them away from the indicator and this will actually be our second keyframes. Now going back over to our number settings we're going to change them back to what they originally were and this is just a reverse way of creating the keyframes either way will work fine but now as we play it back through we can see the word grow and divide now we are on our final layer of our composition the author's name maya angelou for this one we're going to come into the transform settings once again and change the position scale and opacity we will start this time by clicking on the stopwatches and creating our first keyframes like we've done before we will move her name off of the frame and decrease the scale and opacity so she so the words are small and invisible and then we are going to move the indicator forward and with our second keyframes we're going to make the words move down and to the left and we're going to increase their size and the opacity of them so they can be seen the opacity is mainly helping the effect smoothly come into the frame now playing it back we can see the words fly into the frame finally the last step to making this composition perfect if you go down to the bottom of your layers make sure all of them are unlocked and you zoom in you can start at the bottom and move your indicator to the start and end of each line like i am doing here and slowly click and drag on the line above it so they will meet up exactly use your indicator as your line of reference and you can click Click and drag the layers until they match. Once you are done with that, you can zoom out. You can play it back and see the beautiful effects that you just made. Thank you so much for joining me on this two-part text effects journey in After Effects. If you stuck around for the whole time, yay for you. You learned to create some great text effects in After Effects. But for now, I'm Art by Ashley, and I'll see you next time.